every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday And welcome to another vlog within Vlogverse. I've, I apologise, I don't feel like I'm actually that vlogmasy at the moment. It will be. Things have been just packed into the car that will obviously bring this into a little bit more of the Christmas spirit. But it is the time of year for the annual Christmas team show jumping over at Coleraine. And there's there's been a little bit of a twist in the last 24 hours. Um, I do apologise, my voice just seems to be giving up on me. Um, thankfully not feeling too ill. Um, and I have got quite a busy day, like I say, ahead. So I am in a team with Lauren, Zoe and Sinead. Now the way that it works over at Coleraine today is that you have one rider in the 70, two riding in 80 and one in the 90. So it's been always the plan that we are going as part of their team, aren't we? We are called Elves on Reindeers. Um, got your little reindeer ears in the car, haven't you? You've just been, look at your chops. You've just finished breakfast, haven't you? Yes, you have. It's all around your, around your mouth, eh? Good girl, so we are part of that team. And then last night, whilst I was out for my brother's birthday and having a lovely dinner, I had a message to ask whether, coming across to the other side, whether Spidey would like to be involved. Hey, eh, what do you think? I haven't actually asked you, but I'm gonna, I'm thinking you're keen. I think you're keen to do the 70 with Tina's team. So sadly, somebody is poorly and not able to go. So it has been asked whether Spidey would like to join that team. So I'm taking both of them. This is a first. I've taken them schooling together, but they always come off the box at the same time. Whereas today is gonna be a little bit different. They are gonna be there together and getting off at different times and stuff like that. Spritey is obviously up first because she is in the 70. You've got to do two rounds at your height. So it will be Sprite, then Addy, then Sprite, then Addy. But you're not in quite of a, I want to say like a, a state to go show jumping if I'm completely honest you're quite hairy you're due to have a clip this week had I known that I was taking her I would have tried and squeezed that in this week but we'll get you out we'll give you a good groom I need to just hitch up the trailer I've already packed all the car with both of their stuff which feels very very strange but I think she's gonna love it I think she's gonna love it but anyways Let's uh, go get hitched up, sort out the trailer, sort out Spritey, make her look a little bit more presentable. And then we've got a fun filled day of show jumping and lots of outfits. I can't wait. I love it when you see everybody all in fancy dress. It's so much fun. A bit of a whirlwind, not going to lie, but we are here. We are out. I'm in my elf outfit. Just by the past that I've missed. I've, I've lost a button. Spritey's got her reindeer ears on and she's got the tinsel on and I've just thought that wasn't good planning. I should have put in my red free jumps, not pink. But never mind, it's okay, it's fine. It's all good. Spritey is all tacked up, ready to go. Thank you very much. I've been down, walked the course and now it's time to get in the warm up. Addy, fingers crossed, Tina's going to come over and stand with her. But she is, she's just neighing, but she's not doing anything else in there. So that's really good. Um, but time to get on and go have some fun. Ready, Spritey? <laughs> Are you glad you're not doing it now? Yep. It was almost easy riding. Oh yeah, no. I did get asked late last night if I'd like to do the 70 today and I was like, as you guys would have probably seen the last time I did a 70, I came off. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need a leg up. You're gonna need a leg up as well as me filming? You're not gonna watch today. <laughs> or uh, watch me. You drop that camera, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> okay, see you in a minute guys. <laughs> Yeah. 
a little impatient waiting for that buzzer and I swear that she honestly hears that buzzer and is like yep that's our time let's go mum dear of her I thought I'd keep it like normal vlogs guys and do a voiceover of all the full rounds from the day and I don't know how many more I will get to do off Spritey so I enjoy doing them lovely little bit of counter canter there she's keen for these fences no worries of her being spooky or worrying about anything we saw a nice stride there two fence three now i've got to say if she is on a straight line over a fence she will always always and always has done a favor landing on the left lead always is always has been um and i mean at her age now i don't think that's gonna ever change but if i was to be in a jump off or if there is like a turn coming up she will then always land on the right lead i don't quite yeah never really made sense of it but I've never worried it's what she does but she's going around jumping really nicely a keen little bean coming into the double two strides in there so that was either like quite a long one or two so definitely it was going to be two for Spritey and then the long way round to the final fence and dear of her, she is, she really, really enjoyed this and was like, yeah, where's the next fence? Where's the next fence? Comes around that corner, ping, and up and over for a clear round. What a little sweetheart. Obviously just wanted to get her sorted. She's double rugged up, keep her nice and warm, back in the trailer, back with Addy. And I'm actually so proud of both of them. I don't mean, I haven't ridden obviously Addy yet, so time will tell, but but they were really good. I could leave Addie in the trailer and go and take Sprite away. And yes, she was neighing, but she wasn't creating anything or, or doing anything silly. She was just calling whilst eating, calling and then eating. And then, yeah. So I'm really proud of her for staying on there. Sinead in my original team had two down in her 70 round. She was just before me. And then Sprite obviously has gone clear. So we've started with a clear round in Tina's team. And I'm going to be honest, I don't actually know what Tina's team is called. I did hear it on the channel and now I can't think what it was called. Golden something, something like that. Anyways, so good start to both teams. Woohoo! Now onto the 80 riders. So that is Zoe and Lauren in original team and is, I don't actually know who's riding. The, oh, it will be Lola and Sam in Tina's team. There we go. Oh, I feel like it's all been a little bit of a whirlwind, but it's chill now. I'm gonna go get a coffee, something to soothe this throat. <laughs> We're just hiding in the car for a minute, aren't we? I've had a coffee which has helped the throat which has been good. Lauren, as you've seen, had one down, so that does mean that we're on three poles in Yes. Original team. Sam had a clear in his round, so that means we've got two clears in Sprite's team. Actually, I'm going to say it's Sprite's team and Addy's team. That's the easier way to do it. So yeah, three poles in Addy's team. It's the, the way minute. you're going to remember it. Remember <laughs> it, yeah. And Sprite, Sprite's team has got two clear rounds at the minute. So it will be the next 80 rider. And then it will be to get Addy out and get ready. Let's go see how far behind they are. Because they are a little bit behind. Okay. Go find that out so then I can plan for when I need to get Addy out of the box and get her tacked up. I hope she doesn't find outfit spooky in there. There was one horse earlier that was like seeing the outfits and then spooky at them and I'm hoping that that's not going to be Addy. You've got some little elf boots actually. I'm not putting them on for I'm not putting them on for Addy. Where are they? Let me show people. <laughs> I don't actually think I'll be able to get them on my boot. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Go on, it'll be fun. I do it with Sprite. I'm not doing it with I'm not doing it with Addy. So why you got insurance? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> I've got a whole of Vlogmas to do yet. <laughs> we've gone delirious, guys, haven't we? We've, got, we've had a busy week, weekend. It has a busy week. I know, Your yeah. horse life. Yeah. The piggy on tour. Piggy on tour, My yeah. brother's birthday, birthday meal last night. last night. Not that we were late last night. Dad picked us up at quarter past 11, so yeah. it wasn't that late, to be honest. But I think when you got in at 3 a.m., the more... The, that morning, it was quite late. <laughs> just, just, just a bit sleep deprived. Yeah. <laughs> a bit sleep deprived. <laughs> and my alarm went off this morning. I was like, no. But I'm glad to be here. I wouldn't not be oh, 100%, here. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, it is. So sleep when you're dead. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Now our third rider, I feel a bit shaky, is Zoe. No pressure Zoe, but we could really do with a clear round right now. <laughs> oh, nice turn. Whee! 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 And we're back in the game. Why? I've just got a feeling I'm going to get blocked off today for the first time. <laughs> right, time for our 90 round. Now, of course, it stayed the same, so I haven't gone in for all day, so you don't need to see how big they are. Um, just need to put your little ears on. I don't know what you're going to make of ears, to be fair. Oh, I think you might be okay. I don't know if I can fit them in the middle. Oh, I'm not getting them in the middle. Spikes are a little bit thick, aren't they? I'm just going to fall off, aren't they? No antlers for Addy. <laughs> ah! Well, that's an eventful start. After a very eventful warm-up, I was not quite sure what to expect from Addie in here. I thought she might have found all the people, the cafe, all a bit spooky, but actually she came in and jumped really, really nicely. A little bit not wanting to go in to the corners, but actually jumping really nicely. Just around it's sort of these areas when you're down one end that you just can't get them bending enough around your inside leg, but we still got over that. Then she was caught herself but she was so so honest to get up and over fence number five dear of her it's almost like you hear the gas of the crowd and yeah there was an awful lot of people along this side here watching but she recovered really really well and then got a lovely stride over six then coming into the double I just don't think we quite got square 
but she fitted in two and was really quick with her feet not to make a mistake on the second part as well. So that was a shame to have that first part of the double down, but then finished strong. So it was a long way round, all the way round here, again into this spooky corner. And then just tried to, that's it, make her look and go, that's the fence we're going to. And up and over it, she went. I survived. And actually, she's, she she's alive. She was better behaved down there. When she first started careering, I was like, do I just point her at a jump? And then she'll just go, oh, okay, I'm okay. And actually, once I started jumping in the wall, she was all right. But I nearly said, actually. <laughs> just, and then I was like, no, I don't want to be the one to say it. I'm just going to. I just didn't know. Just follow Banksy for a minute. Oh, yeah, thank oh, you for that. that. <laughs> and thank you to everybody who helped when I first came in. Everyone just went, stand still. <laughs> Yes. yes. What did you say you said on the way over? Or have you already said it on camera? That's that. That'll get bumped up. Yeah. yeah, I said that, but when we were taken up, I said, I've just got this feeling. <laughs> My feeling was right. It's still time to go. <laughs> Don't say it. No, I'm hoping now she's done it once, she'll be like, oh, I know what I'm doing. So it's a lot better. Are you keeping hold of that? Yeah, don't even know whose it is, but we found it somewhere. <laughs> I do know whose it is. Moral of story, always keep your body protector in the car. Oh. The trailer. Yeah. I can just took it out as well. Mold wine. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> so once my legs had stopped shaking from Addie's <laughs> exciting warm up, it was actually quite a quick turnaround. So the course has changed. As you see, fence one was a completely different fence and Spritey saw an absolute flyer. Quite a sharp dog leg there to fence number two, but it was quite a quick turnaround to get down, walk the course. So there wasn't much filming done in between. So apologies on that, but we're straight into Spritey's second round. A little bit argumentative, not wanting to come back to trot there, but she soon saw the fence and off she went. But look at her little face and her little pricked ears. She really gave me such a great feeling and that she was really thoroughly enjoying herself, which is so lovely. And I'm so glad that she did end up going at this day. She had the best time. And I'm back in my elf outfit as well, guys. I can wear the fancy dress on Spritey. Spritey doesn't mind what she wears. <laughs> Flyer there. She's getting like quicker and quicker. A um, little bit of a mini flying change. Fence number eight was the same as the first round. And then it was a long way round to almost felt like a triple. So you had nine A and B and then 10 straight on as well. <laughs> I wanted to put three in here thinking that we would, but no. Sprite's like, yeah, I can do it. I'm off. And then so Spritey finished with a double clear. Bless her. <laughs> And then I wanted to put three in the first part of that triple. Like, and she no. went, now I'm going on two. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I'm very capable. Yeah. I'm just going to take her for a walk up and down a minute just to cool her down. Good girl. Yeah. Okay, it's time for the final round of the day. <laughs> Lola has just very kindly lent me the champion scope. Um, so I will be wearing that this time. Um, but I'm hopeful that she's been in there, she's done it, gone down, jumped. She'll know this time that's what she's going to do. So I am confident, you named me. I'm confident that, that is what she's going to be like. But I do not want to be on her any longer than what I need to be. I'm meant to be on her around at half past three and it's currently five, two, three. So I think by the time we get her out, tacked up, get on, should be, fingers crossed, all okay. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs>
as you've seen, Addy warmed up so much better the second time round. I think just understanding what was going on and that she will be reunited with Spritey. She was very gun ho and if you have seen my victim vlog with the lesson with Cam, this is what I want to work on this winter and this was obviously filmed prior to this but she was very, very strong but you just can't knock her enthusiasm but she is jumping up and over the fences really, really nicely. She's giving them plenty of air, but you can just see she's just like, yeah, I see the fence, mum, let me go. But I, like I say, I just cannot knock that enthusiasm. Sharp turn back here to fence number six. Jumped over that nice, then just on the wrong leg. So quick back to trot, little quick spook at the cafe, I think. And then again here, I just could not get her in that corner. So then it meant this fence there just wasn't quite as straight as what I would like. It's all just a little bit too speedy, but that is what winter is for, and that wasn't anything on this day. We were here to have some fun. But we have got a winter of show jumping ahead of us. We're now coming into the final line. Has a little spook at the cafe, so it didn't get quite straight, but still hit it quite nicely. Little short on that second fence, and then nicely over fence 10 for a clear round. Considering how it started in the warm up at the beginning, I could not be more pleased with how it finished. <laughs> I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who just allowed me to go in before everyone else so that she didn't get any more et up down there but she was very good, very very good, lovely clear, um, just very strong but as I always say I cannot knock, I can't knock her enthusiasm but she felt lovely, she felt really really nice and um, some of the turns went quite what I would have wanted but then I was like, right, well, you're on the angle then because you haven't gone deep into the corner because you're too busy spooking. So I was like, you're going from here. And she's like, yeah, no problem. Are we okay now with that? Very good, yeah, that was much better. I almost want to go for like a third time because I think the third time round, she would be even better again because she'd be like, oh yeah, I understand this now. But no, I'm not going to push my luck. <laughs> oh, ponies, aren't you being spoiled? <laughs> Thanks, Lola. You girls do deserve it, don't you? Dottie's fat out. Oh, did she? Yeah. I don't know. Addy, I don't know if you've ever had a stub muffin. Spidey, yeah. I know you have. I don't know. Oh. I'm not a very good mum. I don't buy them treats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you two are very good today. I'm a proud mummy of you. Although a little scared earlier, Addy. We need to tie you guys up, aren't we? We're going to offer you a drink and then we'll get on the way. We're just waiting for the results, aren't we? Presents. So Addy has got a purple one and sprite has got a yellow one. Thank you. And he's got a face full of frillies. Sprite Just how you like them. Sprite says thank you for letting her join oh, the team. We were glad Sprite joined yeah. us, aren't we guys? <laughs> She's loved her trip out today. We loved having her. Yeah. Both ponies have been very, fun. very well behaved. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And you yeah. thoroughly enjoyed show jumping? I did thoroughly enjoy it actually. <laughs> Do you know the second what? Warm -up. The Second, oh. the Sprite's warm up was good, the first warm up. The first warm up, no, the first warm up of Addy was a little bit hairy. Um, I can't wait to see how much footage um, Susie got of that. <laughs> I think she got a bit scared and turned the camera yeah, off. Yeah, she got really worried Apparently for me. Apparently there might be some of my camera. Yes. <laughs> From Lola. Lola was like, oh, Banksy's being boring. I'll get some of um, Addy. <laughs> Although Banksy gave you a buck. He did. Yes. Yeah, a couple. But yeah, if you want to see it wasn't on camera apparently. If you want oh, if you want to see all the rounds from here, then head over to Tina's channel because this is actually her Vlogmas Day one. So apologies if there are I don't think we've duplicated things, but if there is a little bit of duplication, apologies about that. But it's been a fabulous day with fabulous friends, lots of familiar faces and have thoroughly enjoyed it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching at home. If you have, don't forget, please do give it a like, leave a comment down below, and if you don't already, then please do hit that all important subscribe button. It's so windy, I'm hoping this wind mic is actually working. Of course, make sure that you are subscribed because in two days time, there will be another Vlogmas video coming to a screen near you. So I will see you all then. Bye.